Well, today we're doing uh, Stones River National Battlefield, Murfreesboro, Tennessee. Uh, it's a national park, not a state park. Worked on my rig a little bit. Maybe it'll be a little quieter. I don't know. My backpack's a little noisier. Um, today we're going to do the Boundary Trail. Let me check my map, make sure I'm in the right place. And uh, we'll go from there. All right, right off the bat, first observations. I had access to two different maps. They might have more the people there today. This is what they offered me. One is like a black and white little Xerox looking thing. Uh, just a step above hand drawn. The other one is a serious real deal map, but it has the whole county on it. And then this plopped in the middle of it. Neither one has mileages. Um, I don't know if I go that way. I don't know if I go that way. There's another fork up there. I don't know if I take it. I've done this trail before though, so I know where I'm going, but it's only because I've poked around and figured it out. This is a Civil War site. Um, that's going to happen down here. The community can come and enjoy the land and let's just leave it at that, okay? Um, I review hiking trails. I don't get into debates. And quite frankly, I think this is a nice hiking trail. This is one I've done several times. But anyway, the two... It's that season where all the nuts are falling from the trees. Okay, so when you first start out on the trail, there's a little gravel circle. It just kind of wanders around. If you cross the mulch path, go ahead and get on it. It's the trail. Um, I guess that little loop I just did is technically on the map as part of the trail, but it's no biggie. See, I was just right there when I started talking to you. So anyway, I think it looks cool. See this little hole? Weep. <laughs> I do see a lot of joggers on this trail. Had several run past me. So, that's what you do. Go for it. Um, I don't know that I'd bring a stroller on here. It's, uh, there are some rocks in the way. It's not, it's not bad though. So it starts right off in the shade. There's the trail. Got little wisps of sunlight coming through. Trail's real smooth. Got a couple rocks here and there. Nothing really over ankle high. And then you dart out into uh, a little gravel road. Even though I don't know the mileage of this trail, when I'm by myself and I'm not filming, it takes me about an hour, maybe hour and a half to do, depending on how often I stop and how hot it is. They got some fields here. I think they're letting them grow out. Because uh, about a year or two, I noticed from the road that they stopped mowing them. We'll get there in a minute, but uh, this place is technically a cedar glade. I know I covered that in the uh, Cedars of Lebanon video, which I'm gonna go back there one day and finish up those trails. They got a like a four mile back in the back I'd like to tend to. But this place has some good views of uh, the cedar glade. It looks real nice. It might be what the overgrown fields are about. Uh, 
So if you do the boundary trail, it's about 50-50 sun and shade. So plan accordingly. There was a tornado here a while back. Evidently it damaged the trees pretty bad. They got signs on several of them. It doesn't look to be any damage now. The tornado was years ago. I don't know if the signs are stuck or once they pay for it, they leave it. I don't know. But now we're in the shade. Good part of this trail is covered in mulch. It's real squishy, feels nice on the feet. It's probably why runners come here. And it's right in the middle of the town. So if you want perfect quiet, don't bother. You can hear trucks and stuff in the background. You can't see any of it really. I'm in a corn maze. I guess this is a field they let grow up. It's about eight feet tall, ten in some places. Yeah, feels like I'm in a corn maze. <laughs> it's okay, we'll be in the woods in a minute anyway. part of the trail as far as the trail traveling through the center of an obstacle and it's ironically in a fork you can go that way or you can go that way we're gonna go that way it's the longer way um, I don't know what's the other way I'm starting to see a lot of these rocks the trail does a good job about zigzagging between them though. so one thing I wanted to cover they lock the gates at 5 o'clock here. So, you know, if it's 4 o'clock, just call it. Go somewhere else. Maybe go down to the Greenway or something. Murfreesboro, it's a college town. MTSU, Middle Tennessee State University, is here. And uh, it's also been the fastest growing Tennessee town in, for years. It's pretty nice. It's in the vicinity of Nashville. It's not that many miles away from there, but might as well be on the moon because the interstate's so full. I've been researching a little more about cedar glades. Turns out cedar glades usually don't have very much topsoil. It's usually bedrock and kind of a sandy material and not much else grows there but cedar trees so 
this part of the trail gets kind of close to a, a road so you can hear the noise yeah road So I'm going to reroute. I was doing the boundary trail. Basically that's the end of it. Cuts left, makes a beeline right back to the park office, I guess it's called. This other trail is more interesting. I'm going to take it. Tennessee has a high population of people from Michigan. Right in the middle of this battlefield, the state of Michigan has erected a sign. Come check it out. These paved trails in early August are kind of brutal. So if I had stayed on the boundary trail, I'd be way over on the other side of that field. But since I tucked around and did more of a crescent shape uh, trail, I get little occasional shade, which is very welcome on a day like this. So, I'm at the end. That was hot. The whole second half of that was hot. It was going to be hot no matter which trail I took back. Either way, there's not a lot of trails here. Come, get a map. Enjoy yourself. I know I did. I like this park a lot. I'll be back, that's for sure. It's in a college town, it's be a good place for college kids to get away, uh, families, it's not too terribly long, um, you can actually park on the other end, uh, and they're shortened versions for if you have little kids with you, there's little cut throughs uh, where they're not quite as long. Um, there is a museum inside the park office. Check it out.